Hello and welcome back to Choice Bits of Bliss. My name is Scylla. I am participating in the Signature Style Summer Hops by Sarah Scraps. This hop, as Sarah described it, is a hop that's not a hop, meaning that we aren't given a specific challenge. We are not given any direction. It's we just do something that we want to do because we want to do it. And you know what? I like that. <laughs> so I said, absolutely, I can play along with that. What I have laying down here is this cut apart. It's all tags. This is from a Jen Hadfield line. And I found it at Tuesday morning a long time ago. And it was a multi-pack. I loved it. But now, really, can I use... I can't remember if there were 10 in this or 25. But either way, I'm never going to use that much of it. So when I was looking at it... I thought I want to do some tags that have a general likeness. And what I came up with is that I thought I was going to sneeze. I didn't, but it could sneak up on me again. Anyway, the first thing that I really, really liked is this color of blue. Now, it is a gray blue, so I would consider that a slate color. I love it. So I definitely want to use this one. And then I thought, okay, so it has this circular circular element. How could I repeat that? But we're going, I don't want to use what's in the circle. I want to cover that up and use what I want to use. So I've got one, two, three, four, and I need one more that has that kind of circular element. And I think I'm going to have to use this one. And then we're, but we're going to cover up that text. So that is my starting off point. That's my jumping off point. So what do all of these have in common as far as color? It's the greens. And this one adds in that slate blue. So I'm going to cut this apart and come right back with the rest of my page kit that we're going to work with. Okay, I'm back. You can see that I've done some work. I've trimmed out my tags and I've cut down this piece of cream puff basil to use as my base. These two branding strips came off of the la la la. I think it's these two. And I really wanted those branding strips more than I wanted the paper, but because I want that blue, I think it's so pretty. Anyhow, I'm getting sidetracked. So I don't know if y'all are aware, but this kind this this foil treatment I think it's pretty and it's elegant and I rarely ever use it rarely ever use it so this is what I'm working with I have my tags I'm going to cover up the text on these tags by cutting out circles out of this music paper and I, let me see what size my this is a one and three quarter inch circle punch. So we're going to get those done and I have already cut them. So we're going to just adhere like that. Now I'm not going to put them on just yet because I'm thinking I need something behind it to give it some relief. And I have, sorry, I walked away. I have this, you know when you go to the store and you, you buy glassware or something that could be broken and they wrap it? It's that kind of paper. So I have that, packing paper or whatever. And so I need something that's bigger than one and three fourths. And I'm wondering now, what do I have? But I, I may have a scallop that would fit. Whoop, I do. I do. I have a two inch scallop. So let's just play with that and see how it looks. Put that down, put that on top of it. Yeah, I think I like that better. It just, it breaks up the, because this is this tan color on top of that um, brain just went blank. Craft. This kind of craft colored cardstock is, I don't know, it doesn't, it just kind of blends in to my eyeballs. So we're going to use that to kind of give us a little bit of relief. 
So I'm going to punch out four more of these. We're going to layer up and all is going to be grand. I'm going to pause for one second and come back. All right, we're back. We are, when I say we, I mean me. I'm going to punch holes in, I'm just using this as a regular uh, hole punch that you would get in the office section at like Walmart or Target. It, it is nothing special. I'm just going ahead and punching the holes in my tags. And as you can see, I have this chiffon ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby. I stinking love that mess so much. I bought every single color that they had. Thankful that I was there on a day that they had the Paper Studio stuff half off. Because I probably would not have allowed myself to buy it if it had not been half off. But look how well this coordinates. Isn't that lovely? I love it. Love it. You know, it's things like this that just make me happy. It just makes me happy. Wait a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself. So I want to think about placement. And I'm thinking of laying my tags this way because the lovely Laura Alberts did a layout one time with she had tags all on one side. And I thought it was so stinking cute. I love that layout. And I have been wanting to do kind of a, a linear design with the tags ever since I saw her layout, since ever since I watched that video. And this is the day I'm going to do it. So now I'm going to put these on. I would like for them all to have the exact same height. And the only one that is probably not going to work will be this one because the text is up high. But let's just see. Let's just see. I'm going to just, I'm not going to press that one down. We're just going to let it marinate visually so that I can see what is going on. I really think I like the, the symmetry of having everything, you know, lining up perfectly. So I don't think this is the time to do like a wonky pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and press that one down. It's not the end of the story. There's other things that we can add around to kind of embellish that. But that's what we have so far. And y'all know how I am. I have to kind of clean up as I go because it frustrates me to have so much laying on my table. So I want to do kind of a winding ribbon through here. And I think maybe I'll need about that much. One thing about this ribbon is that you do have to have good scissors when you're cutting it because it is, it's just thin. It's just a very thin fabric and I want this side to be angled as well okay now we are going to That's going to be my center one. We're going to go through this one. I don't want it to unravel too much just yet. Wind it through that one. And I want some kind of a billowing effect too. I'm going to go through this way with this one and billow out through this way. Okay. That's loosely how that's going to look. Look, I'm going to move that to the side and we're going to adhere this to here. This is going to be our background. So here's the question. 
have you been inspired by something kind of off the wall? Now for me, that tag that had the blue flowers, that was a little off the wall. But you know what? It totally inspired me. It brought the color that inspiration that I wanted. And I am really loving playing with it. I love it. Now, let's see. What else are we going to do? I think I want to bring in some more of the note paper. Hmm. Let's see. The trimmer. I'm definitely going to trim off where the circles came in. And let's do this about, that's going to be eight inches that way. So we're getting the bones kind of together of how I want this layout to look. And if I'm gonna have a photo here, I want to use this branding strip. You know what? <laughs> I gotta get it to work. This is why I don't let y'all watch me. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm a mess. Okay. So we're going to stick that somewhere along here. To kind of anchor. Yes, I like that. I'm liking that quite a bit. And then we're going to slide this one in here. You can't watch this anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to let you see this part. I'm going to adhere these and then I'll come back. Okay. Okay, look at here. We have mostly a completed layout. This photo is of my husband. He's the one that's sitting and his two best men. Now, his best men have been, he and his best men have been friends for well over 30 years. They all went to university together. They lived together. And it's just been a very great relationship an enduring friendship. And I wanted to document that today. So this was at our wedding. The colors of my wedding were gray and blush pink. I wanted my husband to have the blush pink tie and his best men have burgundy ties. They're very, very handsome men. Okay, so I have all of these things to play with. The collection that the cut apart was from was Heart of Home by Jen Hadfield. And so I pulled out my embellishments from that collection. So I'm going to decorate each one of these and I'm going to do a cluster over here. I think that's all I'm going to do. I may do a title up here. I'm not sure what my title is going to be, but when I come back, we're going to have a completed layout. This is my completed layout. I decorated over here on this edge with some uh, labels and word stickers and other little doodads. And I use this as a base for my title, Best Ever Friends. Everything came from Heart of Home by Jen Hadfield, except for this title. And that came from Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Indigo Garden. That is all for this challenge. That's not a challenge. And this layout. Have a great day. We will chat again soon. Bye-bye.